Yeah, what are we doing? Whew. News for you? That's a clue. <laughs> Thank you. All right, today we're doing one project, but we're accomplishing two things. On the bottom of the shed, we're gonna have a stone perimeter, like kind of what you would do with, uh, what is it called, stack stone around cinder block foundation. We're gonna be processing our own rock out of this sandstone. A while back, we asked you which one you preferred, and we got pretty much everyone in our family say they like this stuff, and, and we have to agree, right, Meg? Yeah. I mean, it's really up to us, but. Um, so this is sandstone, and I've been tr I've been fighting with this guy for a while now. This is here, but it's in the path of the driveway also. So our driveway is coming down this way where the tractor is. It's basically going to be about twice the width it is now, and this rock, this sandstone, is right in the way. So our job is going to be removing this section of it, and in the meantime, we're going to be getting some really nice rocks, and we could also use this stuff as road base too for this very long driveway. So we got the jackhammer here we're gonna hook up and we're gonna get going at it and see if we could uh, see if we could make some of this stuff. As we go, we'll just fill up the loader, yeah? Yeah, that's why I got my gloves. Alrighty, we have this Bauer, I think it's a 37 or 35 pound, something like that jackhammer, which it's pretty heavy. You work with this thing and you get tired after a while. So we got this thing at Harbor Freight, and I like it. It's, it's surprising how well it works. Wouldn't you say, Meg? Yeah. I, I think it's great. I mean, I don't have much jackhammer experience, but right. it, it breaks up what we're trying to break up, so I'd say that's good. Yeah, so it's electric, and what you need to do as far as prep, it's really... Boogie woogie woogie. Huh? It's electric. Oh, okay. Sure. So these are still greased up. But you do, should I go for the steak? Yes. The vampire killer? Yeah, I like the steak. All right, that's greased up already, but you really, that's where you put your grease. And that's where you, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, there's a notch that has to go a certain way. And you're ready to go once you plug it in. Today. Oh yeah. Do we have any freezer water? Yes. Really? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, so Meg is the absolute terminator <laughs> with the jackhammer. I love it. It's so fun. It shouldn't even be called the jackhammer, it should be called the Meg Hammer. <laughs> Impressive. I mean this, Thanks, this John. feels freakishly strong, but damn! Give All me right. a jackhammer, I'm even stronger. This is two loads of sandstone. And Meg, I'm loving what I'm seeing. So yeah. this is our slate. We're not doing the slate. That's what we're doing. That had some white paint on it. But we're going to be doing stuff like this all the way to cover up the railroad ties and fill in in between the rocks and stuff. And maybe even make a few retaining walls with this. So, yeah, two quick loads and a Meg. You got two piles of nice rocks. <laughs> So we're gonna get some more. This is probably good for one side, maybe. Yeah, we need a water break. We need a lot more, but we need some water and some sunscreen. We'll get back at it. I'll show you Megan action. This chick is unstoppable. <laughs>
We are continuing on the sandstone here. I don't know how far down it goes, if it's just that, that hangover section there, if it goes underneath. I see some of it coming up out of the road right here. She really is good at it. That's not easy. Better get the tractor, John. Those are big pieces. Look at my size 12. Look at that. That's a big chunk of rock. Yeah, I'll go get the tractor, Meg. Rock stacking day has arrived. So yesterday we got all of these rocks. We have a couple piles of them around the shed and we're gonna be building our, our wall to cover the railroad tie, which I think is gonna look super cool. I think it's gonna look nice. So look what we got guys. Not a bad run for the trailer. I don't know how many trips this would have taken in the truck. Well, half ton pickups, a thousand pound load capacity. This pallet's 4,000 pounds on its own. So that would have been four trips at least, plus another one. Yeah. Five trips with the truck to get this amount. <sighs> All right. So we got, we got Quickrete. And if you've been following us along, when we originally laid the slab with the, uh, with the Portland cement, the Dirty Crush, and Native Sand mixture. I'm sure you're relieved to see that we got Quickrete this time. So, I figured it would be easier. So that's what we got for the, for the um, what do you want to call it? Like the top coat of the slab? Yeah. We're just going to pour it right on top. We're not going to do rebar. I mean, there's rebar in the slab that we laid already, and it's pretty hard. Well, there's grid. It's not rebar. Yeah, there's there's metal grid, welded wire, I guess you could call it. So now uh, we're going to be doing this tomorrow. But in the meantime, we got mortar mix, the stuff in the green bags here, for doing the perimeter of the the underside of the shed. We're really just using the mortar mix as glue for the stones that we dug up, the sandstone. And Meg is gonna put her artistic touch on all this. I give her free range. Meg, you're gonna boss me around, right? Yeah, all you're right. gonna shape the pieces of rock and I'm gonna tell you what to do. Yep, so. Okay, so that's that. We got mortar in the bucket right now. We're gonna go bring it up to the shed. This is 50 bags of quickrete. They're 80 pound bags, so we got 50 of them. I calculated out we just need over one cubic yard because we're doing about a two inch slab by, I don't know, it was like 10 by, what, 16 and a half or something like that. I don't know. So let's go bring this up there. We'll get going on the Let's do it. Stone. We aren't 100% happy with the placement of the top rock, so we have to move it before we do the wall. See what I'm looking at? See how it goes past the trim over there and it's not up to the trim over here? Yeah. Let's just pull it over until it looks about centered. Okay.
Okay, go a little further. Huh? Gotta go a little further. Okay, I think that's good. Really? Mm hmm. Camera's working good, Meg, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Look at Meg go. She's doing great. Looks really cool. Um, so the jackhammer came with another chisel, and it's in a chisel shape there. I'm going to swap it out real quick. Just wanted to show you how easy it is. And I'll try to... Uh, I'll try to shape some of the rocks with the chisel. And see if that this is great for punching out the big the big rocks okay just out with the old so it still looks nicely oiled so the notch faces the handle this handle thing yeah just like that it's as easy as that switching it out Try to sit you right there. Try to bust this guy real quick. Well, that went the direction I wanted. This chisel bit is more for like demolition. If you have old tile you're trying to rip off cement floor or something like that, just to get it under and pry something. Bust it out, old tile, something like that. But all right, well, it's okay. Okay, Meg, I gotta make more glue for Meg. Look how cool it's looking. Look how cool it's looking.
So I've been working on the wall. I'm done with the front. I think it looks awesome. I'm really happy with it. And John's been jackhammering more and he got pretty far and then he just decided to keep going and start widening our road so it can fit cars, not just the tractor. And it's going pretty quick. I can't turn it off. Can't work a tractor like that and just turn it off. What's up? So, are we recording? Yeah. So 30 minutes, right? Yeah, John did this whole section right here in just so. 30 minutes. Not even. Yeah, I was just playing with the backhoe and removed. I mean, our normal trail was from here over, and I just cut out this whole side. I just kind of want to get my feet wet, see what's uh, see what techniques are working good. I'm just grabbing yeah. everything. Grabbing the we'll brush. have to take out these plants now. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, because they're gonna overhang. Yeah. But check this out. It's getting there. How much has been jackhammered? There's still a lot here. Yeah, you still gotta. Sorry about my can over there. But okay, here's the before shot, and here's the after shot. Of how much we've taken out. It changes too. The rock has changed. Like going back, it's more clay and sand. Yeah. This stuff was definitely harder. I guess this section was it, older. It's broken differently too. I found doing the wall, the pieces that we got from this front section yeah. are more square. Right here. And the pieces up top are more flat and kind of parallelogram ish no behind you we have a lot of pieces still from the front section yeah we have all of this which is all going to be part of the wall and all this is That'll still sandstone good. right here all this i mean that just feels like clay huh. it's cool but yeah it'll look neat while you're driving by and stuff oh yeah yeah good job john I'm yeah. gonna keep going on the wall. This is good. All right, slight situation here, first thing in the morning. Oscar is back. I picked up this snake and I moved him, or her, and it's right at the new stuff by the shed. This snake has been adamant about getting in our shed. So the other day there was a snake and this is the first snake that has been really nasty with me. I tried to pick it up nice and easy. Um, just to move it out of the way, keep it away from the dogs. So I put it back in the woods again, and it found its way back, and now it has made a home. See, it just showed itself right there. There's a tiny, tiny hole right there between the railroad ties. It found it, and it's in the building. If I go in that building, it's going to be right there. <sighs> Let's see. You would never know that thing is there. Where are you? See, I know this snake has an attitude problem too. And that's what's concerning me. I gotta go, I don't really have time for this. But, I'm gonna try to get this guy out of here. Now that hole is gonna disappear very soon. And it's a mess in here, but we're going to be finishing the floor here. That's our next thing that we're doing. We're going to be finishing up this floor. So everything's just kind of thrown in here. Oh, there you are. There's, there you are. I see you. In the corner. All right, let's get something ready. Now, I hope he didn't get away.
away on me. Oh. Let's see. Oh, there you are. All right, look at him. Look, look how nasty this snake is. It's a little dark right now, but this snake is so mean. I mean, he's just in defensive mode right now, but... <sighs> nope, Manny's strong. Nope. No way, dude. You're gonna give up now, okay? And you're gonna go somewhere else. You're gonna try to bite me now. See, look at that. Hey, 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 back off, back off. Need a better grab on him. This is the same snake. I don't wanna hurt him. See, and he's really trying to just get away. That's all he's doing. All right, you're gonna go to a different place, Oscar. Nope, nope, you're gonna stay in there. Stay in there. All right. Oscar is gonna have a new home over here. Not too far away. What do you think, a half a mile or so? Yeah. Okay. Show it where he's going. Plenty he'll, of critters and toads and things like that in like there. I like it here. Yeah. All right, now when you're opening a snake container, I'm gonna open it away from you. And there he is. Go ahead, buddy. You're gonna go here now. Come on, Oscar. You go. Whoa, sorry buddy. There you go. That's it. Alright, Meg just went to get the RK24. And she forgot her gloves. What are we doing today, Meg? More wall. More rock, wall? Rock wall. Let's show where you got yesterday. Okay, so Meg is uh, knocking this out of the park. She got all the way in the front yesterday. And she got hot, I brought the fan out for her, she moved along this way, and she apparently stopped. See the tarp there? After this moment, Meg was like, you know, my pants are dirty, whatever. So then she moved forward, she kept going on, and she goes, hey John, look, I made a little heart rock for you. So that's my love rock. <laughs> and she made this whole western wall. And then she made the turn and did about two or three feet on the uh, southern wall. Good job, Meg. Wait, and that's just, the northern wall. I just prepped all of it the you rest did? of the way. Almost all the way. The okay, way, cool. So, Hey, let's talk huh? about this, though. How oh. do you feel about in front of the garage door? What about it? I'm thinking don't do wall there. That's what I'm thinking. Did we just agree? Call the press. No, I don't know. I don't talk to the press. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think we just agreed. I don't think we should do there because I think it's just going to be a constant, these rocks are falling. Uh, yeah, hard. and we can do a little, I don't know what word you would call it, like a hearth. Like a fireplace hearth. You could do a few rocks like in the ground. We could tamp them down. Kind of like pavers. Yeah. We could do like that. Like a skirt, sort of? Just sort of a little, yeah, like a hearth, but for a doorway. I don't know what you call that. A landing? I don't know. So, all right, so Meg just dug out a little bit, and then she put some dirty crushed gravel in there. That's good. Cool. So after we do all this, what we're going to do in the final step is probably do a little pastry bag full of mortar, and we're going to inject it into the hollow spaces in between the rocks just to give it a little bit more. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. We're definitely going to do that? Yeah. Might not show it in the episode, but we're gonna fill in the rest. Cause I, I don't know if we have a pastry bag and I think we're gonna try to get this use video a together. Bag. Use a Ziploc? Yeah. Okay, you wanna do that later then? Like That'll a big work. freezer bag? Yeah. Okay, cool. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go take the RK 
We have it down here. We're going to fill it up a little bit with some some of the rock that's laying down here. I'm going to go help Meg. And I've been widening the driveway here. Okay, this was pretty narrow. I've made it about 150% bigger. We added another, about another half, Meg. Ew! What? Centipedes! Look at all of them! That is creepy. We have like so, a centipede infestation. Yeah, what's up with the centipedes around here? They weren't always around, so but it's like... There's millions of them. Yeah, I'm not even They're exaggerating. Out of the wall. It's like roly polies in Myrtle Beach. There's our centipede gathering. I don't know what they're into right there, but yeah, you see that. And they're attracted to the pool too. Look, they're kind of everywhere. They are, there's another patch of them right there. They're all along the wall here. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. I talked to Meg this morning, and she's gonna let me get a new tool, or new toy for this guy here. And it's not that expensive, it's less than 300 bucks. So yesterday when I was digging out this section here, I pretty much scraped a lot of the material away with the backhoe, and it does, it does fantastic. Um, it's not a it's not a track hoe, you know, it's it's a back hoe. So using it, you have to pull up and stabilize and you know it's kind of a pain in the neck, but it, it's very effective. But if you look over here, you can tell that I took the loader and just drove up to this section and tried to like just aggressively go at this thing just with the front loader. And that's pretty effective as far as the amount of time it takes, but it doesn't do a great job. Let me show you the loader that I have. It's, it's just a flat bucket, okay? So a while back, a few of you have mentioned to me adding some teeth to this cutting edge, and that's what I'm gonna do. They make something called a piranha tooth bar, and as far as what you can get for the money, that's probably your best bet. Has really good reviews, a lot of people have personally recommended them to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and get one and it's basically just adding teeth to the front cutting edge of the bucket. So what you do, you got to measure from from you know edge to edge. On the inside measurement, you want to give them the closest quarter inch. You submit that to them, and then about a month you'll get your you'll get your custom uh, piranha tooth bar. So more on that when I get it. But that's going to be in the process. Or I'm going to be in the process of uh, ordering that now. minutes later and that's just what I've been doing with the dozer see how it's all flat here like kind of see that tooth bar will definitely help break all this up and uh, give me a smoother approach so it, does, so it doesn't jump as much and uh, bury itself in uh, but once you're able to get down into it using the side of the bucket you know really helps you carve out because then you're just adding material to one side and it's like really cutting so this is a good first rough cut in um, other things that I'm gonna have to do I gotta pay attention to the width here it's not just the width of the driveway on this side where we have elevated terrain like this I'm gonna need to cut in a ditch on the right hand side and then I'm gonna have to allow water to escape on this side too so I'm gonna have to flatten it out on these areas so 
you got to pay attention to where the water is coming from. If it rains and the water is coming down this mountain, it's I don't want it washing across here and going with the flow. I want it to get to this point and then ultimately channel down a ditch. And if I have to throw in a culvert pipe once in a while for, you know, volume concerns, that's what we'll do. So this looks good. Happy with it. That did not take long at all. All right, toothbrush. We're trying to clean the bottom. Oh man, what just happened? Why are there a million of these things on there? What the hell? Gross. Here, look at Meg. Look how hard she's working. <laughs> I mean. Meg, hold on, stand still. Stand, no, no, bend over again, protect, or, or, or hold on. I mean, look at her back. That is dirt. Thanks, Matt. And she went to pick up the kids like this. Look at this. I wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to scrub up the shit. Oh since we have the gutters on here, but I think we're gonna have to just repaint the bottom a little bit.
the world is that? It looks like a shrimp. Issue, and there it is. Meg stole my jackhammer. But look at what I got. Yep, this girl loves to jackhammer. Can you bust that up a little bit? What, it's too big for you? No, it's just, we, we're gonna have to break it apart anyway. At least cut it a couple times. It was a joke, John. Whoa! Super dirty building. Holy smokes, what is happening here? Look at this, it's centipede land. Meg, come here. Look at that. No! Tell them to get down! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just zap them. Get out of here. Why are they here? Do they like Dawn? What are you doing? This is kind of fun. Ah, thanks for bombing my shot. Sorry. Get out of here, you dirty girl. When we get home, and they're waiting for us. They're so excited. Watch, watch, watch. Hi. And they go. There they go. It's like, where are they going? <laughs> where are you going? Come on. They, I want to see you. Are they looking for the girl? Hey, Batty. <laughs> hey, Carmen. <laughs> hey, Carmen. No jumping. Oh. All right. Don't jump. Hey. Oh. <laughs> crazy dog. Stop it. I know. It's so exciting. I wish we could put the camera on Carmen.